Steph Curry, obviously, the star of the Golden State Warriors. It is his team. No one will be a bigger star for the Golden State Warriors than the one and only Steph Curry. You can bet the house on that. Here was him responding, his thoughts on Kevin Durant choosing to leave. Listen to this. K, you know, made a decision for himself, and that's you, you can't argue that. If I wished, yeah, I wish we could play with K. He's an unbelievable talent, unbelievable person. We accomplish a lot together, but uh, you know, things things have, have changed a little bit. So we got the battle down the road. So it should be a fun new experience on that front too. Steph Curry also spoke about Kevin Durant saying he never felt accepted by the team. Listen to Steph Curry here. I mean, that's tough. There's so many narratives that go on, especially when you're at the top of the league. But at the end of the day, I think he knows, you know, what we were about as teammates, what we were about as friends on and off the court, whatever he, you know, needed to do to make that decision. And, and however he wants to explain that, you know, that's just what's going to happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let me break this down for y'all. Here's the deal. Kevin Durant goes to the Golden State Warriors. He went there to capture rings, but he also went there uh, because he felt that the system catered to him and his gifts a little bit better and that he would mature and grow as a basketball player. Fair enough. Nevertheless, what it came down to is this. Was the idea, was, was it an acerbic and abrasive relationship with guys? No. Had that one bad incident in the public with Draymond Green. But essentially, Kevin Durant was a relative loner. The team did their thing. He did his thing. Is it right that he never felt a part of the family? Speaking to some members of the Golden State Warriors, it certainly appeared that way. They felt that he was separate and apart to some degree from the team, that he kept to himself, that he was private, that he didn't necessarily let people in. That was the, that was the only critical thing that I had ever heard about Kevin Durant from his teammates or from any member of the organization. Having said all of that, is it plausible that he and Draymond Green didn't have the greatest relationship? That Draymond Green don't, don't give a damn that he's gone? Hell yes, it's, it's plausible. Because here's the thing that you have, to, you have to understand about Draymond Green. First of all, I love the brother, so don't expect a critical word about Draymond Green from me. I love the brother, and I love him for this reason. He is as real as it gets. He's not a liar. Um, he's the kind of person, he either likes you or he doesn't. And he ain't shy about letting you know it. You not hearing it from somebody else. He'll tell you. And there were certainly things that he didn't like about Kevin Durant, whatever those things are. He was never specific. Uh, he never said that he didn't like him. You could just tell that the level of affection that he had for the Clay Thompsons and Steph Currys of the world, it wasn't shared that way for Kevin Durant ultimately. Was it that way when Kevin Durant first arrived? Yes. Was it that way when they won the second championship? Yes. But once Kevin Durant was destined to be a free agent this upcoming summer, and it was clear he had one foot out the door in their eyes. Uh, it was it was it was undeniable that that Draymond Green had some feelings about that. But I still think everybody's missing the boat, and it ain't got nothing to do with Steph because it's impossible not to love Steph, and it's impossible to have an abrasive relationship with Steph. Steph is the golden boy to go to State Warriors, true, but Steph is selfless. Steph is unselfish. Steph doesn't mind sharing the wealth he made flagrant sacrifices to bring Kevin Durant in and to get him maturated into the situation and the system in Golden State. And when Kevin Durant went down after he tried to come back in game five and had to be escorted to the locker room, it was Steph Curry that was behind him, patting him on the shoulder and walking him to that locker room because there's a level of class and decency and genuine affection that Steph Curry has for everybody. Everybody, including me. Hell, I go to him for golf club advice, for crying out loud. Steph Curry's the man. He's a special dude. But you know who else is special, which is why it's surprising that I have to say what I have to say? Steve Kerr. What's undeniable is that Kevin Durant did not have the greatest relationship with Steve Kerr. I don't know why. I never talked to Kevin Durant about that. Never talked to Steve Kerr about that. But what I've been told, they did not have the greatest relationship. The exact words that I was told, in fact, is that Kevin Durant wasn't feeling Steve Kerr. Wasn't too keen on hearing anything he had to say. Period. People didn't even know why. Now that's a shocker to me because I happen to think that Steve Kerr is one of the nicest people you could ever meet in your life. Very classy, conscientious, thoughtful, and clearly a brilliant coach. Without question. Well, what he's done in Golden State, you cannot deny the job that Steve Kerr has done. Can't deny it. But the fact that he 
didn't necessarily vibe with Kevin Durant. It's not like Kevin Durant disrespected him. Like they, not like they didn't talk or anything like that. I had, I said, I heard he was not feeling him, but that's all I heard. Makes you wonder what life would have been like if Mark Jackson was coaching Kevin Durant. One question you could sit there and say, would Mark Jackson have won championships with this team? I say yes. The other question you could ask is, would Kevin Durant have wanted to leave if Mark Jackson was the coach instead of Steve Kerr? I don't know the answer to that question. Time will tell. Remains to be seen. We shall see. I don't know. But I do know that Kevin Durant did feel separate and apart from the rest of the team. I do know that's the impression that he gave folks within the organization but maybe with the exception of Bob Myers, the general manager. And I'm quite surprised that somebody like Steve Kerr doesn't get much better than Steve Kerr, y'all, as a coach or a person. I don't understand why Kevin Durant wasn't feeling him. Never asked him. Never asked him, but I don't know why. But I do know that was the case. So take that in any way you can. Take that for what it is. One of the other things KD said to the Wall Street Journal, as my time went on, I started to realize I'm just different from the rest of the guys. I'm, it's not a bad thing, just my circumstances, how I came up in the league. And on top of that, the media has always looked at it like KD and the Warriors. So it's like nobody could get a full acceptance of me there. That's what Kevin Durant said. That's what Kevin Durant said. No way around it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.